Hi everybody, welcome back. We are at High Tech Orlando and sitting with me is Mr. Daniel Krish from Hospitality Retail Systems. Daniel, great to have you joining us. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Andre. Nice being here. Yeah, how are Finally. you finding it so far? Good. I mean, just first day, just arrived after a long trip, but yep. uh, already caught up with so many people I haven't seen for a couple of plus years. So really great to be back in the, the loop and in the network. It's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for to, sure. To get back into the swing. It's part of the game, right? To yeah, be exactly. connecting and exchanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel, we always like to ask people when we start with these little chats, just to give us a bit of a background on your, uh, your career and how you got to where you are today. Right. So tell us a little bit about you. Sure. Traditionally born and raised hotel guy, you know, traditional education in Germany, apprenticeship, and moved uh, into a hotel management school later on. Uh, worked in hotel operations, primarily rooms divisions, and then decided to take a short break for education. Lived in the US for a year, mm. done an MBA there, uh, to again go a little further, and then I went into the consulting space for hotels hotel chains in EMEA, um, hospitality, tourism companies, travel agencies, um, kind of even market research for H2C and together with Focusrite we did some good things and yeah also RFPs, technology, um, you know procurement projects and that's how I came into the tech vendor space mm -hmm. and that's how I ended up in, in Micros mm -hmm. when I joined there as a VP distribution and uh, until Oracle arrived where I then, you know, took part and, and was in charge for the hotel and cruise portfolio, solutions right, portfolio. Right. Yeah, and uh, since May last year, I joined Hospitality Retail Solutions um, uh, to uh, take care of strategy as well for our portfolio and as well as, yeah, the lead our business unit is TNG. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a software for guest activities, spa, wellness okay. Uh, solutions. Okay, yeah. Cool, yeah. very good. So from your perspective, I mean, obviously you've worked in the industry a long time. You know, you've obviously kept up with current trends around technology and the development of technology. So where we are today, what would you say would be three key trends within our industry around technology at the moment that you think are going to be influential or impactful? Yeah, I, I guess everybody would uh, look at me and say, oh, what's the latest and greatest and new NFT and blockchain? I would say maybe the old things uh, are still very relevant because just take this trip as an example. Uh, it took me 20 hours to get here mm. with a lot of touch points at airports. How many times I had to show my boarding pass, my passport, stand in luggage lines with no luggage. And it just the whole process is still uh, manual. It has, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not connected. Um, and I think this is same happens in hotels. Right? Mm. When you check in or check out, there's a lot of things that can be done. And let's say a convention center or large resorts where guests just want the experience. And this is what I, I try to, to keep uh, emphasizing on. This guest experience makes a difference um, whether someone is successful or not. And this is where technology does tie in. So the old, you know, we want to do everything integrated. We don't want to do automated. COVID pushed also the mobility. Everything should be mobile. I think it's very relevant and valid still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to be focused also, from my understanding, talking to customer, a key investment area, right? To really integrate systems, to get rid of this uh, legacy thinking uh, of, of premise and this interface and that, but rather create an integrated ecosystem. Mm. And for many cases, that's maybe best of breed. Mm. We, we also do the same thing. We, one of the largest resellers for Oracle solutions, for instance, hospitality, but we, we plug in with our mobile apps, with our um, guest activity solution, just to make the solution full and comprehensive for hotels to, to be effective and to yeah, improve customer satisfaction. Mm. This is for me still, a, it's not a trend, it has been going on for a while, but I think the last couple of years pushed us even more. Yeah. Staff, staff shortage, yeah. high staff turnover in general fluctuation, um, just requires to rethink a little bit traditional, you know, how many hotels you stay, we still have a breakfast checklist, right? right. Unbelievable. Yeah. So yeah. Little things we have yeah. a solution for that. It's very small things that you can do to, to improve uh, also staff experience, yeah. which automatically translate to better guest experience because yeah. they have more yeah. time to focus on that. So all these new things are great, but let's really look at what is 
key operations, uh, what are the challenges and what can we do to help? Mm -hmm. how, how do you think we can also assist the hotels best to adopt these types of opportunities? Because we know that those solutions are there to help them, but and even they may know, but they still don't really want to... Or, or there seems to be some, some reluctance to pick it up and to say, OK, let's apply this, let's put this into our business or our operations. Where do you, what, what, what do you think is the key to get that to... To change, it's maybe two, three things. One is certainly operational uh, standards, or procedures, right? That that makes this for many years, and, and it's a kind of a rethinking, you know, a traditional check-in process, and uh, that may need to change. It even has to do with legislation in many countries, as we know. Yeah. Registration card in Germany, for instance, those things just need to go away. Yeah. One one example. Uh, the other one is, of course, um, maybe some hurdles or barriers for integration because you need an additional interface to do this and that. I think also some of the, the, the newer systems and solutions, including also Oracle, has overcome this with new technologies mm -hmm. that made it easier. You don't have to buy ABC interfaces, but you rather consume APIs, mm -hmm. right? which is really key these days, and then mm -hmm. it makes it more flexible. The whole ecosystem um, or markets that, that are growing, uh, you can see and you can tell it's improving. Mm -hmm. And that maybe ties to the third point, which is commercial barrier, right? To have to do some investment, but as soon as integration become affordable, services attached to it are relatively uh, easily available, um, then the commercial part becomes a, a no-brainer because the return of investment is, yeah. is immediate. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah. And just finally, I'd like to hear from you what's perhaps one of your most memorable travel experiences. Um, my, specifically and personally, I'm, I'm a uh, you know, <laughs> ambitious diver, so I like diving. Oh, okay. And years ago, we did uh, go to the Maldives to a local hotel chain, um, Villa Hotels, and we stayed there and we did uh, diving with whale sharks, which oh, is wow. uh, kind of a holy grail for, for divers. I yeah. know people who had hundred times more dives than I and never never saw this. Wow. But what, what's I think important on this look which reminded me also uh, is this local and authenticity. I love authenticity. Mm -hmm. Even if I go on business trips, if mm -hmm. I can, I try to stay in a B and B or in a hotel chain as well that picks up some of the local culture, food, mm. that gives this authenticity, which I really love, because otherwise it's great to recognize, you know, this uh, brand ABC again and again, but mm. I'd love this, this local touch. And that's yeah. something yeah, that yeah, makes I, I personally prefer, yeah. Yeah, very good. All right, well, Daniel, thanks so much. Great to have you here. My nice pleasure. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Andre. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.